In life, there are moments when everything feels heavy. Perhaps it's a loss, a setback, or an unexpected challenge. During these times, it's easy to lose ourselves in negativity. But what if I told you that even in the hardest of moments, we can find light? Today, I want to share with you a lesson I've learned on my journey, the power of positive thinking in tough times. Years ago, I found myself walking through a difficult period in my life. As a young monk, I had a habit of seeing the world in extremes, either good or bad. And during that time, nothing seemed good. I was struggling with doubt, fear, and an overwhelming sense of failure. Have you ever felt that way? As though no matter what you do, life just doesn't go the way you want it to. One evening, after a long day of contemplation, I sat with my teacher. I remember vividly how the setting sun painted the sky in shades of orange and pink. My teacher, sensing my unrest, said something that changed me forever, the mind is like this sunset. It has the power to create beauty, or it can be clouded by darkness. The choice is yours. That's when I realized, our thoughts shape our reality. When we focus on the negative, we invite more negativity into our lives. But when we train ourselves to see the positive, even in the most challenging situations, we create a space for growth, healing, and peace. It's easy to think that positive thinking is about ignoring our problems, but that's not true. It's about acknowledging them, understanding that they exist, but choosing not to let them define us. Imagine for a moment a tree in the middle of a storm. The wind howls, the rain pours down, but the tree stands tall. Its roots are deep. The storm passes, and the tree remains, even stronger than before. In tough times, we are like that tree. Our challenges are the storm, but our mindset, our positive thinking, is what anchors us. It's the root that keeps us grounded, helps us endure, and allows us to grow. And that growth begins with mindfulness. Mindfulness teaches us to live in the present moment. When we're present, we realize that most of our pain comes from dwelling in the past or fearing the future. Positive thinking isn't about denying those fears, but about bringing our awareness to this moment, right here, right now. When we truly live in the present, we realize that even the toughest times have moments of beauty, a bird singing, a gentle breeze, the warmth of the sun. And when we focus on those moments, we begin to shift our perspective. A simple change in thought can transform how we experience life. I remember a time when I was feeling particularly lost. I looked outside my window and saw a small flower blooming through a crack in the pavement. That flower taught me something profound. No matter the circumstances, life finds a way to bloom. And so can we. This is the essence of positive thinking. It's not pretending the cracks don't exist. It's choosing to bloom through them. So how do we cultivate this mindset? There are three things I want you to remember. First, practice gratitude. No matter how hard life gets, there is always something to be grateful for. It could be as simple as the breath you take, the people you love, or the lessons you've learned. Gratitude shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant. Second, be mindful of your inner dialogue. The words you say to yourself matter. In tough times, it's easy to fall into patterns of self-doubt and criticism. But remember, you are not your thoughts. You are the observer. When negative thoughts arise, recognize them, but don't hold on to them. Let them pass like clouds in the sky. And finally, embrace impermanence. Everything in life is temporary, the good and the bad. Just as the seasons change, so do our experiences. When we accept that nothing lasts forever, we learn to let go of our need for control and flow with life, instead of resisting it. You see, tough times will come and go, but the way we face them can shape the rest of our lives. Positive thinking isn't just a tool for getting through challenges, it's a way of living, a way of embracing the present moment with all its imperfections and finding beauty in the midst of it all. So, my friends, the next time you find yourself in the middle of a storm, remember, you are like the tree. Your roots are deep, and the storm will pass. Choose to focus on the light, even when it seems far away. And remember, in every crack, a flower can bloom.